going on YouTube? I'd like to say I have a quick video for you, but that would be a lie. Yeah, I'll file stuff here in just to have plan on talking about them a little bit. Anyway, first off I just want to say thank you to Michael and his YouTube revival contest. Um, thanks to that contest and everybody that participated, there have been a lot of good videos pop up lately from people we haven't seen in quite some time, so mission was uh, the mission was accomplished. Got to see a lot of guys that uh, haven't been around for a while post some videos, and hopefully they'll stick around for a bit. But anyway, going to go ahead and jump into the cards. Um, this one, my only Alec Ogletree pickup, uh, rookie linebacker for the Rams. I got another one of these, the Gold Stars die cuts, number to 49, number 36 of 49. This is number four. So keep picking those up because they keep popping up cheap. Um, this card, these next two cards I actually got from, uh, Cumsy. They came up at great prices, had to grab them. Uh, this first one is for my 2011 Top Super Bowl Legends, um, ring gold refractor die cuts. These were by, uh, um, giveaway only, and this is one of the gold refractors out of 99 of Mr. Bart Starr for Super Bowl One. Um, numbered 16 out of 99. These things are hard to find at good prices. Everybody asks a shit ton of money for them. And this was on Cumsy for $6.82, I believe. So I just, I grabbed it instantly. Love those cards. So now the only one I'm missing to have all the Packers from the set is Bart Star again for Super Bowl Two. He has another one. Um, there's not one up for sale on eBay right now for, I think, 23 buy it now, something like that. But I don't want to buy that. I want to pay like 15 bucks. so... I'll just keep waiting. Eventually I'll find one. Um, and this other card I got from Cumsy is for my Allen and Ginter PC. Uh, his name is Johnny Strange. And when I saw this card, uh, I actually uh, saw it on eBay. I saw the red ink on eBay for a ton of money. And it was the first one I had seen. I didn't know who this was, so I went and did some research. And uh turns out this guy is uh, has a pretty impressive life so far. Um, right there you'll be able to read, bearing the signature of Johnny Strange, youngest to climb seven summits. And what that means, um, is by the age of 17, this guy right here climbed the highest peak, the highest mountain peak, on each of the seven continents. Um, and he's also done a lot of other extreme sports and extreme climbing things. Uh, it, it's pretty freaking ridiculous, um... I, I just can't imagine that kind of an accomplishment at any age, let alone 17 years old, to be able to uh, claim to have been able to climb all those mountains. Pretty insane. Uh, so, happy to have that one in the Allen Ginter PC, because it's, it's a rare one. It's a weird one. You know, it's kind of an oddity. Um, but now, on to a lot of color. There, there's some rainbow actually going on for the rest of this video. Um... From the new 2013 Prism Football. Uh, in my last video, I showed off the uh, blue Pulsar Prism uh, that you can only get in the uh, jumbo boxes of Clay Matthews that uh, was given to me by Pete and Tyson. Um, this one here is unbelievable, beautiful card. It's the only one I've seen pop up for sale so far. It's the orange refractor, or the orange prism die cut. Hopefully the, just see how beautiful these cards are. The sun, I decided to do the video outside since there's a little bit of sun out, but I don't know how well that's going to show up, but it is a freaking gorgeous card. And that thing is numbered 50 out of 50. So, beautiful card there. Really happy to get that one. This next one might be my favorite. Uh, I, I love the looks of these cards. Uh, the technology has been around for a lot of years, and uh, Panini's been, uh, I wouldn't say ripping it off, but you could say ripping it off here the last few years and calling it something other than Atomic, but it's the Cracked Ice. And this is the, another one you can only get in Prism Jumbo. And this is the Purple Prism Cracked Ice of Clay Matthews. Man, I... I wish I could get the sun to 
really reflect how gorgeous that freaking card is. This one just came in the mail today. This was the last card I was waiting on coming in. And that is numbered 8 out of 40. So, I've got a blue Pulsar Prism, an orange die cut Prism, and the Cracked Ice, or the Purple Cracked Ice Prism. So, well on my way with that rainbow. And I've got one more from 2013. And this one, I believe, is the rarest outside of the 101 Finites. Uh, if there's one rarer than this one, I haven't seen it yet, cause, and I haven't really paid that much attention to the checklist, so there could be. But this is the Blue Pulsar Prism die cut. And, man, it, this video is just not going to do it justice how pretty this freaking card is. I, I like the purple, I like the crack eyes better, but it's hard to beat this card. It's gorgeous. I had to pay a pretty penny for this one because I didn't know when I was going to see another one because that bad boy is numbered 6 out of 15. It's only 15 of these. Um, I'm not sure if you can get these out of regular uh, hobby, but uh, I'm pretty sure they can only come out of the jumbo. So, got that one. And that's the final card from the 2013 Prism that I've picked up so far. I know there's there's a green one on uh, eBay right now that you can get out of retail. There's a green one. There's a dark blue Prism from the uh, retail rack packs. So you get a uh, little mini pack of three um, dark blue uh, Prism cards. Um, I know there's one of those. And... I think there's reds. I think there's red pulsars. I haven't seen them. Uh, I haven't looked them up. Uh, I think Clay has one, and I'm not sure what they come out of, whether it's retail or hobby or what, but I think there's red. But Anyway, final card I'm going to show off in this video, which might actually be going quicker than I planned it to be. Uh, this card is from the 2012 Prism set, of which I have the, uh, the rainbow of all the... Uh, all the base cards, all the different um, colors there, including the 101 Finite and the 101 Finite Auto. And to add to the auto checklist, I've got the Base Prism Autograph, Mr. Clay Matthews. I uh, wanted one of these for a really long time, just never pulled the trigger because I already had the 101, and I didn't really feel I needed this one, and the prices they were at were too high. Um, but got this from another Packer collector who... Uh, was looking to raise some PayPal, so he kept dropping the price, and I kept waiting, 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 and he dropped it down to a number that I was comfortable paying for it. And that bad boy is numbered 6 out of 10. So, there's one more autograph I need to get now to really complete the entire rainbow from the set, and that is, uh, they have the prism version and the refractor version, and it's numbered out of 5, so Clay had exactly 16 autographs in 2012 Prism. Ten of these, five of the refractors, and then obviously the one on one. And since I've secured it, I might as well go after one of the ones out of five. There are actually two of them listed on eBay right now, but the prices are well up there. I think one's 145 and one's 150. Um, and I just can't, I just can't pay that for those. So, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's what I got. Um, got Thanksgiving coming up here in a few weeks, uh, spend some time with the family, eat some food, eat lots of food up at Grandma's house, gonna go up to Iowa, I believe, for a few days, um, but, yeah, nothing else really going on, looking forward to next trade night in December, RBI Crew 7 shop, uh, December 14th, Saturday, looking forward to that, uh, looking forward to hanging out with everybody again, um, yeah. Anyway, I really don't have much else to say other than fucking suck that Rodgers got injured. That's just what we needed to have the best player in the NFL get freaking injured. Because we were holding our own at 5-2 and two with all our freaking talented offensive players injured. Um, with Cobb out for so long, James Jones missing time, Jermichael Finley out for the rest of the season, maybe even career. Um... 
lost an offensive lineman. Clay Matthews has been out for several weeks. Uh, good news there is it looks like he may be able to play this weekend. Um, he got the pins taken out of his thumb on Tuesday, I believe, and he's going to wrap it up and practice with a club on his arm this week. So we'll see if he uh, gets out there and plays on Sunday. But, man, Seneca Wallace looked like complete shit. I mean, we lost 27-20 without having a damn quarterback. Our our defense just couldn't just couldn't keep up there at the end cuz Wallace was going out there and three and out every time. Our defense was on the field so damn long. Um real reason we stayed in that game was cuz our our running game was phenomenal with Eddie Lacy and uh starts with a big uh big run for a touchdown uh but Eddie Lacy, man. God, that guy just keeps looking better and better and better. What a steal of the draft. I, I, I just don't think there was a better player in the draft for the at the position that we were able to take him. Second round, I think like 51st overall or something like that. Pretty awesome for us. Pretty shitty for everybody else that passed on him. Don't look too good now, but anyway, that's what I got. I'm going to go upload this video. This will be the last video for quite a while. I don't see myself making a video probably before Thanksgiving. So... Anyway, take it easy, everybody. Later.